All right, so we're gonna make it easy, and uh, we're gonna make it easier. We're just gonna well, let me get better pliers. Nice little needle nose. And we're gonna remove this uh, linkage here, so that way that's out of the way. So when removing cotter pins, you just squeeze them. Bend them over like that. Sometimes if they're real stubborn, just cut them off. I'm not gonna go out and replace that. Really, it'll still be okay. Uh, even though you technically should, but I'm not. So I never really seen what was wrong unless it was totally rusted. Why? And then. Don't lose this linkage assembly. Make sure you keep that all in place. So I'm going to set that somewhere where I won't forget about it. Alright, now what we're going to do is I'm going to get out the big wrench now. Because these are going to be pretty tight. And there's actually four head bolts holding this on. Here we go. Uh, these 10 millimeters, here they are, yep, 10 millimeters, so there's four 10 millimeter head bolts here, and then I don't know what's in the center here, uh, but there's 10 millimeters in there, I don't know if we have to really remove them or not, so just wrench them free. That one, the gasket's in the way, so it's going to be hard to get out. I hate these, uh, I guess it's like the Intex. Uh, it's pretty much the same engines, pretty much the same engines. Well, I kind of wanted to capture uh, pulling the head off and the revealing of pulling this head, but it kind of just fell off um, once the bolts came out. So, here's the push rods. No one's not going back in. That one's actually probably probably because it's up all the way. So um, it's very important that this one went over here and this one went over here. Sometimes they're different because uh, the one is actually aluminum, the other is steel, and uh, yeah, actually the steel one should always go towards the exhaust, um, and then the aluminum should go to the intake. Uh, these ones I'm not really sure, but I still know which way they came out. Um, Sometimes they're different. If they're different or the same, you know, really if you screw them up, I don't, depending on what it is, it doesn't matter, but make sure you still mark, make sure you get them in the right area. Here's the head. Bump the camera. Here, let me just set this down on the floor here. Take a look. Look at that. It absolutely just blew that head out, uh, that uh, gasket out. So, um, there's a few things I'm going to have to check um, before I just throw in a new head gasket. i got to check, make sure that this, uh, it's like here it is now. i got to check, make sure that this um, head is actually uh, straight and it's not warped. I doubt it is, but uh, i still got to double check that um, because it could also just be factory. Because it looks, if you look right here, see how it's crinkled there and stuff? I think this kind of went in a little skew, like the machine tightened it down too much, because I actually seen uh, some of these engines get put together um, in a factory, so. Um, what I'll do is, carbon actually doesn't look too bad, carbon-wise, so I'll just, I'll still always clean it up a little and stuff. So, um, I'll let the owner know, I'll check for straightness, I'll do that in another video and tell him he needs a new head gasket. Um, if that is warped head, then he's going to need a new head too, so. He told me it was a carburetor problem, he thought. Way off there, buddy. But, um, but uh, as soon as I pulled it over, I'm like, no, this is not a carburetor problem. So, um, alright. I'll go price out a new head gasket and I'll let him know what it's going to cost him before I just go ahead and replace it. Well, time to find a good place to organize everything, put all my tools back, make sure I got everything in order, and uh, memorize where everything went and stuff. Even with these little motors, it's important to do that. Um, but, as always, just rate, comment, and subscribe, YouTube, and um, 
We're gonna get this thing going again.